In this video, I'm going to be talking about tips and tricks for Naughty Crawl. And in my review for this game, I did say that you should avoid reading guides for this game because a lot of what there is to discover is just in the gameplay mechanics itself. That said, if you are getting stuck, this video will help you. And I am basically going to break it up into two different sections. So the first section is just going to be the basics explaining how the craft itself works. And the second section is going to be a little bit more advanced. And that's maybe a little bit more spoilery in terms of the actual gameplay mechanics, because it's really going to make a huge difference in terms of your ability to avoid hostiles and to survive in this world. So you can decide at what section you want to stop watching. I'm going to very clearly mark those but with that said let's get into it so let's start with the basic tips and here I'm basically just going to take you through all of the systems of the ship when you're starting out without going into too much detail as to how you can optimize these and specifically use these to survive for longer. So starting out up here, you're going to use this to switch on the system and this is probably the most important thing. If you look at this, essentially your battery power is always going to be draining when you don't have the main engine switched on and if the battery power runs out, you will die. So that's the one thing that you do need to keep your eye on. So you switch on the main computer over here and then you basically switch on the engine using this green button over here. Now moving on from this, so basically now every system can be switched on within the ship. So there's a couple of different systems here. This is probably the most important one. So this is the map. It's going to show you where you are in the world. And uh, what you have over on the right then is a computer that's going to act as any communications that you'll get will be coming through here. And also you can use this to access your storage and a couple of other things as well. Moving on to the left hand side, this display, it's not particularly useful once you figured out everything in the game. Basically, this is going to explain how different systems work. You can also use it to check the damage levels that you have in the ship. But aside from that, it is once you've gotten used to the game, you can basically play through the entire thing without ever using the system on the left. So it's really just there to help you understand how things work and to check out the damage, as I said. Then over here, what you have is something that allows you to track different uh, basically locations that you can go to, usually locations of interest. So when you see it popping up like this, that basically means this is the direction that you need to go into and you can switch between different locations. So uh, I'll just switch this off again. Then what you have over here is the network. So basically when you get close to things that you can interact with, you can switch on this network and when it's charged up enough so that that item comes into range, you can press this blue button over here and that will actually connect you. Now, in terms of traveling, so just two systems that I'm not going to mention right now is the system down here, which comes into play later on, and also this system, which comes into play later on when you have to basically start taking flight uh, in this. So the other th systems that you may want to use are basically the engine power over here and uh, also the fuel injectors. Now what this is going to do is the engine power will determine how far you're going to move in a given move and the fuel injectors is going to determine how fast the move basically charges up between moves and this game is kind of in between a real-time game and a turn-based game so in terms of how the power works that is almost turn-based for every move that you make that is going to change the uh, power output essentially but there are certain things within the game that are real-time so it's kind of in between but in terms of how the power works you can currently see that your power is charging because it's got this sort of light blue up there that shows that when you're moving around at the moment you are going to be charging up your power now um, of course when you switch on systems such as the cloaking that means that if i move now that's going to cost you power and if i sort of just bring this down to within that yellow range that is sort of the optimal range because that means that yes it is going to take power but uh, the yellow range is enough to basically cloak you from enemies and then finally of course you can use uh, this switch over here to release heat now 
that becomes a problem if your heat is too high but it can also become a problem because the more heat you have uh, the less easy it's going to be for you to do your cloaking so we're just quickly gonna move on over here and we're okay so first of all we've got a message so if you just hit this button this will give you the broadcast and that's usually going to share some uh, story related content with you uh, but we're just going to keep on moving here and okay we'll just switch off the cloaking system for now so as to not waste any power so we'll just move on over here and then we'll just illustrate how the network works so basically I can connect to this system and once you've connected to something you can access the storage uh, fuel basically as the name suggests can just refill your fuel tanks batteries can recharge your batteries when it's low you can of course also just recharge your batteries by moving around and using the engine but it is useful to have those backups in certain situations so we'll just load this up and then uh, we can look at the recent logs again this is just going to be some story information and we can open the gate so you should be figuring out this fairly early on but if you've been having trouble with this at least this is sort of the basics covered okay so what i'm about to share here is definitely going to make the game a lot easier now it's not spoiling any story elements this is something that you are going to figure out eventually if you haven't already done so but it definitely makes the game significantly easier so if you're looking at where i am currently at you can basically see that i am cloaked which means that this tower is not going to be able to see me if i'm moving around but the problem that I have is every time I'm moving, I'm basically losing a little bit of battery power here. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is going to allow you to move around while you're recharging the battery and you can just effectively keep on doing that. Now, this is not an exploit. The game is designed for you to be able to do this. So effectively, what you've got to do is a couple of things. So first things first, you need to make sure that your power and your fuel injectors are around the 50% mark. Then you need to switch off essentially every system that you don't need to use. So the main computer doesn't really matter. You can keep this switched on, but the one that you're going to want to switch off when you're moving is the actual map, but you only need to switch it off when you're moving. So if, for example, I want to move towards these towers, if I just move now, you'll see again, I'm losing power up here. But if I switch the system off, so I kind of aim for where I want to go, just switch the system off. Now I can move and I'm actually charging the system while I am in the cloaked mode. And you can just keep on releasing the heat over here as well. So essentially, uh, the reason why I said that this is almost like a spoiler is once you're able to do this, you can effectively just move around the map as much as you like and you can just keep on recharging your battery so you can do this for every move you can literally switch off this uh, map and you can just keep on doing that just checking where you are and switching it off again so i'm going to end this one here as always if you do like this kind of content do like and subscribe and i'll see you for the next video